Okay guys, a while back I posted a video about my next project. Well it is done. Here it is. I'll talk to that talk about that in just a second. Um I I did it a long time ago. Um finished it r really a couple of weeks ago. I just really haven't had time to do the video or anything like that. I've been really busy with holiday and work and Christmas and New Year and stuff. So I haven't really had time. But um, it's finally done. It's a true POW Sega Genesis. So basically it is a Mega Drive but with a Genesis shell. Because the Genesis shell is uh, far, far better than the Mega Drive one. In my opinion. I mean, who am I to say which one's the best? But in my opinion, the Genesis shell is better. So, it is still a Mega Drive, so it is true PAL. I mean, normally, um, a slot in Europe are all used to this one, which is the Mega Drive shell. So, uh, may maybe maybe people in America like the Mega Drive shell rather than the Genesis. They've always been brought up with the Genesis shell, but I personally... I've always been brought. I've always been brought up with the Mega Drive shell, and I think the Genesis shell looks better. I mean, this one is worse for wear, so it's just a spare shell. So this one's not really doing the Mega Drive shell that much justice because it's dirty. But yeah, so um, I did some mods to it. Um, it works perfectly. So first of all, I'll just flip it over. Turn it around, and you can see there that it's uh, Sega Mega Drive PAL. If it wants to focus, anyway, yep, yeah, hasn't got like the US sticker and that on the back like the other one, so it is a it is a Mega Drive. Let's flip it back over. Everything on it is stock as usual. Though I did replace the LED with a brighter one. The one that came with it was really, really dim. Cartridge slot has been widened to fit Japanese games. Now let's flip right to the back and I'll show you what's going on. UK power supply. So it's a Genesis with a UK power supply. So you don't need to use the American one or get a downstep, downstep converter. Um, AV8 and RF8. Now I've seen recently that a guy called Retro Game Tech has desoldered the RF8 and put a headphone jack. Um, I've done the headphone jack, but I'll talk about that more in a minute. Move along, I've got um, left and right RCA Audio 8, just in case I want to hook up some RCA Audio Jacks for any reason. Now I've gone with black rather than white because the Genesis is red and black, kind of like red. So I went with red and black rather than red and white because it looks a bit more slicker. And this brings you on to the last bit of what's going on. I've got two switches here, which is these slide switches, which is English and Japanese, and 50 and 60 hertz, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack mounted in the back where that little hole used to be now there's a headphone jack there rather than the solder in the RF out and putting it there I've just mounted it right there and I'll show you why in just a second so that's everything done to the Genesis it is for UK and it is true pal so um, it will play Japanese games. I'll show you that Japanese games fit in there. It will play Mega Drive games. And it will play Genesis games. Like that. Now it does take a UK power supply which is one of those I'll plug that in uh, one second See, 
standard red light, nothing fancy. Everything looks as stock. So it does take the UK power supply. Uh, also on the back, I talked about the headphone jack. Well, everyone in the UK should be using for the best quality RGB SCART. This is the gold plated one, so it's a better picture. Everyone, if you have a Mega Drive in the UK, you have to use RGB SCART. It's just a must need. It is the best picture quality you can get out of a Mega Drive or a Genesis. That is a guarantee. So, as you, as you may have seen in my other Mega Drive video, here's the AVA for the RGB SCART, and it also comes with an audio jack, which is how you get stereo sound into your TV. So, uh, it, this would just go into the AV port. Which is really hard to do with one hand. Sorry, hang on. That would go in like that. Um, and then you'd get the 3.5 millimeter. Normally you could run it around to the front where the headphone jack is. Or you could get an adapter off of these two into a headphone jack. But now... It just goes literally can I'll do this with one hand into the back. Let me do some of these wires out of the way in a minute. There we go. So literally you only have two two wires running out the back and then one audio lead from there. That's it. No more cables needed. One power supply, one AV cable. That's it. And that looks far better. I was gonna, th I was thinking about doing the uh, desoldering the RF port, but I thought, no, I uh, had a spare hole here, and it wasn't, didn't need to make it that much bigger to make it fit. So I just used one of those free pin headphone jacks that you can get from any electronic store. Uh, put it on a little, like one of those little PC boards, PCB boards, sorry guys. Um, soldered it on, soldered the ground, the left, the right, and then hot glued it in position basically. Uh, these switches are the slide switches that I showed you in the last video. Um, I don't like hot gluing these in, I actually like drilling the holes and screwing these switches in place so they are locked in. I mean, they, you can't be seen anyway from the back, so... The 50 and 60 hertz switch only works with uh, RGB SCART, otherwise it would be black and white. These audio jacks, very, very bleh, sorry guys, <laughs> I'm having a real big trouble getting my words out today. They are rarely used. They're just there just in case I want to hook up hook it to my surround sound or like run extra speakers for any reason, just in case I want to, you know, really get into Mega Drive. So uh, there we are. I didn't didn't get a composite video. It's a waste of time. I don't need to. And if I really want a composite video, I could just buy a composite composite video lead to go out the back of here, which I never will. So, uh, so there it is, guys. There is a uh, a truly pal Sega Genesis, which is basically a Mega Drive. So um, it's really easy to do, guys. Um, the mods are fairly simple if you have some soldering skills I mean uh, there's loads of tutorials out there I'm not gonna do a tutorial there's there's too many out there if you can't find the information uh, you're not looking correctly trust me there's loads out there um, best best person to go to I find online is Damo monster or Damo monster I think he's from New Zealand uh, he's got a YouTube channel and he's got like a website online just look as just Google his name. He's the best person to, to look for Genesis mods. Um, I was thinking about doing the 10 megahertz overclock, but um, I didn't really care about that, so I just really couldn't be bothered to do it. So uh, that that won't be done. But um, 
some games like Streets of Rage 2 with the 50 60 hertz you have to start it in 50 some of the newer releases of the Mega Drive games actually had region locks in so like Sonic 3 you can't start in 60 hertz because it's a Mega Drive board but you can start it in 50 and switch it but if you put Sonic 3 in Sonic Knuckle, Sonic and Knuckles, then you can. So some games are region locked, some are not. This one actually is, um, unless you put it in Japanese, and then it's not. So it's weird. You have to play around with it, but you can play every game uh, without fail. So Japanese and Genesis as well. So. The reason I chose this game, I mean, no one plays Judge Dread that often, but it's it's one of the best looking Genesis carts that I have actually. So that's pretty cool. That's what I really got to say about it, guys. Um, if you want to ask me some questions, I will more than happily answer them. Um, I've got a few new new stuff to show off, so I might make some more videos really soon. Um, that I've actually modded, I have the stuff already done. I just need to make the video on them. Um, I'm not going to show a video of this thing fired up into the TV because there's just no need. So if I take my word for it, it does work. If you see my other Mega Drives on the action, you know that I can get the job done. And this one does work perfectly. I was really couldn't be bothered to, to get the little CRT telly out and uh, hook it up and stuff. So so thanks guys for watching. Um, please comment, subscribe. Um, I will be bringing out more videos. I've just been really, really busy with work and stuff. I mean, since I made my last video of, about doing this project, like my next project update, or whatever the video was called, um, I had trips to Spain, um, hol uh, Christmas, New Year, my 21st, um, work, getting promoted, extra responsibilities, so it's been really busy, so I'm trying, I will try and do more videos, guys. And get them out there for you. So, um, yep. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you soon.